All right, so Vladimir Putin's Russia is finding themselves with some protests. In Moscow, now protests are banned, <laughs> naturally, but they are protesting for a free election. For, um, I believe it is the city's legislature. And they want a free election. So they are protesting. I want to see if they'll be successful. And I also want to see when the time comes, will they do the same for the presidential elections? Let's see. Will they be successful? The Devil, the Tower, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Wall of Fortune. No. But this does seed them to doing other protests. So it's not over. It's just not effective. Um, the structure of the protest like the protest means well there's the queen of pentacles it means well but there is something a little more devious and powerful at work which will bring an end to their protest with the tower this is washed out again Let's see if that helps with the tower and the balance sort of an imbalance because there's still chaos going around them but time is kind of on their side as in they will be able to do this again yeah and the politics and bickering crosses it all so with the presidential election let's see If it will make if it will make it to the presidential election. Well, let's see. We start with regret. Some sorrow, despondency. So the Russian people do want to be free because that's basically what they were chanting during their current protest, which is going on now. So they do feel as though they're sort of in a state of despondency, like they've lost too much but there is new emotion new candid emotion new candor so they're they're very they're very we have to do this now because this is our country type of thing this is not Vladimir's country alone uh, there is a walking away abandonment Maybe they are abandoning the hopelessness and looking forward to the future. A little peek at their outcome is the Fool card. So there is something new. At the base is the Victory card or the Celebrated Person and the Knight of Swords. So they're waiting on their candidate. Someone to emerge, sort of coming to save the day. This is the chivalry card. Someone to come save the day. So 
they are ready. There's a bound and powerless. The hangman. So they do have this is this is a good thing. Because there is a sort of a realization of where they are. And a realization to what they must do. They're stuck and trapped. Both of these cards are stuck and trapped. But this is also a new outlook on your current situation. When you realize that the knot for these for these for this rope is also behind the back. This person can free themselves at any time. So the moment you gain the courage, you gain the numbers, you can change things. The fear is the high priestess. This feels more it feels very much fighting a system because the pillars in the in the high priestess i forget what the letters are i think it's anyway this is supposed to be the temple of solomon where she is sitting and these pillars stand for basically strength and execution not execution as in death but carrying out strength so these t pillars hold up the Temple of Solomon. So it's sort of trying to fight against a very powerful system. That's the fear. It's not the Hierophant. The Hierophant is traditions, laws, and morals. The High Priestess is you sit in a place of secret, but not just secret, but protected knowledge. Because she has the knowledge, but she keeps it to herself. So it's protected. Ten of Swords, that's your hope. To bring it all down. To defeat it. The world. The world that's in your environment. The world is watching what's behind the scenes, the lovers. You do have support from around the world. And you may have support for the bigger picture, which is what the world also stands for. So you have support. This is looking good. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is your word of warning. I don't think that, financially speaking, you have anything on the self-made self billionaire that is Vladimir Putin because he stole all your money. So money will be an issue. For your new candidate, where to solace the nostalgia. So you do have, yeah, preparations and the fool. There will be yet another protest to want a fair election and Vladimir's Russia. Will it be successful? I'm going to go with probably not, but let's pull five cards and see what we get. Because he's rigged his own system. But the numbers. Y'all got to get those numbers. Protest like hell. Um, you know what? This still teeters. It still teeters. And I think part of it may teeter on what the rest of the world is doing at the time. Because I don't get no, I don't get yes. This is a new outlook on the brand new venture. This is the new people. Walking away from the old way of life. This is the despondency right in the middle. But again, there is preparation. The rest of the world is a factor in this. So it's not just what are they doing. It's what are other people doing at the same time. That is going to determine what you are able to harvest from this situation. So 
justice on the body. So keep hope alive. Free election just may come to Russia one day.